okay guys so uh, in this video we will talk about basic accesses lab and i will show you that how you can find the accesses in any web application so these are the some points which you need to remember the first one check for the parameters that is you have to find any input parameter and secondly if your input reflects or is stored then there is a chances that there is accesses now what you have to try we have to execute the script let's say a script alert a script tagging with the tagging close so this java script once injected in that web application input parameter then you will get a pop up and if you got the pop up it means your xss is successful right so let's it's time to show you the practical let me end this show and open my google chrome so here you can see this is the lab and i will share it this screen with you so you can you can also practice these all the things of xss on testphp.vulnweb.com right okay so what we will do so you need to find the parameter right so firstly let's say here here it is a search bar right so let's let's just try hello right so it is reflecting right so it is a reflexive right so uh, if, if we will execute something that will be a reflexive uh, xss so what i will do here is a parameter right if, if you can see there is a query it is asking for a query correct so what i will do i will just write a script here and i will check okay just a second i just mentioned the enter coincidentally okay alert one and i'm closing the script right and see what will happen a script okay let's check the code once okay all good now click so now you can see here there is one right so it is popping up so now what's what's what it shows it shows that your xss java script malicious script has been successfully injected and you got the pop up it means xss is successful now you can do lot of things you can even uh, you, you can even find the document dot cookie you can even find the other things right let's say console dot log right just try this one okay nothing is happening no problem let's let's try something else i'm showing this this one so here it is xss coming xss correct and let's let's try for other one let's sign up so test test correct login here it is johnny name name is the johnny and address is this one now what i will do i know that this this is going to be stored somewhere right definitely in the maybe uh, their database so what i will do in spite of giving the name i'm going to give this script this malicious script java script and same same in the address bar because i don't know which one is vulnerable correct maybe name maybe address so i will just click on update if it will show me the pop up it means there is xss let me click on the update so, so you can see here we get to know that there is a xss one two three because it's coming the pop up right so on this page you can also check out apart from this there are a lot of things where you can learn where you can try you can even whole whole of the this uh, website you will have to explore each and everything okay so here it is also coming to okay let me let me give the script here let me give something you are hacked right let me copy this also giving in the comment okay let's submit it see here we are also uh, we can also see here that it is coming the accesses is coming you are hacked right so here it is also the accesses and once you will find in any of the web application site you can directly report them and you will get a uh, money for that bounty so i hope this is very clear and the main important thing is that that uh, you need to check the parameters where the uh, all the inputs parameter are lying and apart from this you have to check all the your uh, script uh, so as far as we will proceed in this uh, xss uh, section 
uh, you will get to know more about XSS. So this is just a starting. This is just a basics where, where you can just uh, try all these things. So thank you so much. We'll uh, meet in the next video with another things.